Hello everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today's replay is from Joblo01 and he is in the Des Moines. The tier 10 US cruiser he is on the map Islands of Ice in a standard battle. Well, it's obviously a tier 10 battle, but there are quite a few tier 8s around. Two destroyers per team, but that doesn't matter so much in a standard battle. Also, the, it's already five minutes into the game and nothing has happened so far because it's a standard battle. And standard battles just suck. But uh, anyway, let's see if Choblo can make the standard battle great again. Also, I guess I'm kind of warn you this game is somewhat of a steamroll, but it's not the friendly team that's steamrolling the enemy. It's just Choblo in his Des Moines. Now, there was a broadside Moskva that is no longer floating. Nobody is surprised. I'm not sure what his idea was, but it didn't work out, unless he just wanted to sink because he was tired of standard battles. But anyway, we are down one enemy cruiser, now two more appear, and Joblo doesn't care. Now there is some problem because there is a, there's a Richelieu towards his left, and he is kind of showing broadside. But there isn't an awful lot he can do about that, because it's much more important right now to angle against those two cruisers. Now thankfully those two cruisers don't angle in return, actually they are trying their very best to show as much broadside as humanly possible. It's so much nicer if the enemy team cooperates, isn't it? Okay, I was exaggerating a bit that Baltimore is actually somewhat angled right now. But, um... Not sure if that will remain. Anyway, he's gotten a few citadels on the Moskva, but I'm afraid that Moskva is also starting to angle, so... Oh, look, and just when we thought that they were learning. So that Baltimore wanted to get citadel again, and... Uh, well, mission accomplished. And now the Moskva. Oh my, that's a double strike. So... Three enemy, uh, three enemy ships are down, and Choblo sunk himself three enemy ships. That's, that's a good way to start a game. Well, start, it's now seven minutes into the battle, but you know. It's not like anything happened the first five minutes, anyway. So there is a grosser boy here, I don't know what he's trying to do, sneak behind friendly lines, I suppose. But, yeah more than enough friendly ships to defend the cap, so that's not going to happen. In the north, nothing has really happened, it's just a stalemate up there, and now a cyclone has appeared. Now in a cyclone, it's rather important to get close to the enemy, because otherwise you can't see them. But you know what? Joblo isn't afraid, he'll just go in there and roll it out with whoever comes his way. And the next victim is going to be uh, Richelieu. Well, I mean, still 15 kilometers away, but we'll see. Is that Richelieu going forward? Is he going backward? He's probably going forward, right? Well, then again, he's a French ship. Doesn't matter. Joblo is closing the distance. Now, the ships in the north, maybe they will react if the cap gets threatened because... Well, Joblo has a hipper... So uh, no, sorry, a Rhone sidekick. Also, down here in the south, the friendlies are hunting down that destroyer, so let's hope they're going to catch him. But yeah, Doblo and his own sidekick are going in. They are not afraid of battleships, and with the cyclone, they are protected from the left. Right? Showing this much broadside to such a massive fleet in the north would usually be a death sentence. But during a cyclone, they can't see you, and if they can't see you, they can't shoot you, and so it's perfectly fine. There is a nice cozy fire. Now Choblo is slowing down here, you don't have to get too aggressive against the battleship, I suppose. But if the Richelieu keeps pushing in, then the Rhone should be able to get some torpedoes off. So that's good news. If you don't have torpedoes yourself, just get yourself a sidekick. 
And again, who knows, maybe they don't need torpedoes after all, because the fires are doing a number of this enemy battleship. And soon we might be in armor-piercing territory. And down goes number four. Still only four enemy ships sunk and still all of them defeated by Choblo. Well, I mean, he had help. He got the death blows and he got also a lot of damage because he's already done over 200,000 points of damage. Now, of course, friendly ships here are going to cap because what else are you going to do? He's asking politely in chat not to cap. Personally, I'm... I'm just about winning, so I really don't care if people cap or not as long as we win. But I can understand he has tasted the blood of his enemies and he wants more. Also, he can heal here a little bit. He also has RPF, possibly a clan battle build. Or maybe he just enjoys it on his cruiser to go destroyer hunting. And here we go, a North Carolina, once again a battleship in close quarters, that's not ideal. Now he can see the North Carolina here. Well, uh, the cyclone has, hasn't been reduced to 8 kilometers yet, I suppose. But the radar can help spot a little bit longer than 8 kilometers in a cyclone. I guess at this point this, this might just be buggy here, it should be 8 kilometers, right? And that's also why he isn't spotted. Or maybe it's now 8 kilometers. So anyway, either as it may, he is doing a great job of arming himself some nice juicy North Carolina. The radar ran out, so he no longer spots the enemy. But he is still shooting in the vicinity because battleships are rather slow, so it's unlikely that he went very far from his last spotted position, I suppose. And we spotted North Carolina again for a time, but he went down. So anyway, next up on the menu is a hipper, and I don't think this hipper will fare any better. Now the enemy team is actually trying to defend, but they are so far behind on ships that they are... Yeah, in, in a very bad shape. Also, I guess the friendlies have somewhat surrounded the enemy cap. Not that it matters that much in a cyclone, I suppose, because they can only shoot you if they're close enough. So, there is a Kraken, but why stop at a Kraken? Why not go brawling with a Bismarck at like five and a half kilometers? Now, Bismarck are amazing brawlers, have amazing secondaries. And, well, as a cruiser, they can do a lot of damage to you. And yet, Joblo is not afraid. Now, the Bismarck is showing an awful lot of broadside. And you don't show broadside to a Des Moines at this range, it's just not very healthy, you know. You might be a Bismarck, but yeah. The fact alone doesn't save you. So, there is another ship that went down. He is up to 6 kills and almost 300,000 points of damage in this very short... Well, Rampage he had there, but he is not done yet. Now, next up, we have a broadside cruiser because we didn't have enough of those already. And followed up by a juicy, juicy destroyer. Maybe he can get his second double strike, but nah, I think he isn't fast enough killing this ED. But no doubt he is going to take down another one. And this brings up his total to 8 ships sunk and almost 320,000 points of damage. Now there is only one enemy remaining. Will he get him as well or not? <laughs> oh my. I mean the, the enemy team did cooperate quite a bit. But it's just amazing what this Des Moines has done so far. And can he get number 9? It's close. But no, somebody was faster. Now here we are with the results. Joe Blow managed to get himself 3498 base experience. It's not quite three times the amount of the second one in the team, but it's all it's close to three times the amount of experience than the second person in the team got. 
And you know, it's not like the friendly team got devastated, it's just that Choblo went in and sunk everyone before the other ships arrived. Now he earned himself Confederate, Double Strike, Kraken, First Blood and High Caliber scoring 320,000 points of damage, scoring 26 Citadels. Oh my. So, I uh, mean, yes, the enemy team cooperated quite a bit by showing an insane amount of broadsides, but it's just one Des Moines went in and wrecked the team and the rest of the friendlies were just, I don't know, left in the dust and didn't realize what was happening while Choblo was already winning the battle. I found this uh, extremely funny to watch. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you guys next time.